Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to another episode of the series Keto At. Today we are at McDonald's and I'm gonna be showing you how to order hopefully everything you can possibly order off the menu here at McDonald's in a low carb, keto friendly way. Now, before we place those orders though, I wanna give you guys a quick rundown of some important pro tips that you'll definitely wanna keep in mind if you're trying to order low carb and keto at McDonald's. So I've got my handy dandy notebook full of pro tips for you guys. A lot of these are common sense, some of them aren't though. At McDonald's, you'll definitely wanna avoid most of the soft drinks, except if you're gonna go diet, the diet drinks have zero carbs. No ice cream, no milkshakes at McDonald's. Definitely avoid the buns, the biscuits, the muffins, the wraps, the bagels, anything breaded here, you'll wanna avoid. And speaking of breaded stuff, definitely wanna avoid the chicken nuggets, the crispy chicken sandwiches, anything breaded, just avoid it at McDonald's if you're trying to order low carb and keto here. That said, you'll also wanna avoid the French fries here at McDonald's. And speaking of French fries, pretty much every burger comes with ketchup here at McDonald's. So no ketchup on any burgers. Ketchup has a ton of carbs. Instead, order mustard or mayo. Those condiments are zero carbs. And then that brings us to the salads and salad dressings here at McDonald's. The salad dressings are really awful. They are filled with carbs. Instead, what you wanna do is make your own salad dressing with the dipping sauces here. So one of my favorite things to do is either just order the creamy ranch dipping sauce that has just one carb per dipping sauce packet or the spicy buffalo dipping sauce as well, just one carb in that one. You mix the two together, kind of make a dressing out of that, and then just kind of add your burger to your side salad, pour that dressing on, it's really, really good. Lastly, the sugar-free coffee drinks at McDonald's, they are loaded with carbs. They may be sugar-free, but they are not carb-free, so you definitely wanna avoid all of the sugar-free coffee drinks here. Instead, order a black coffee and bring yourself some Truvia packets or Stevia packets and just add your sugar like that to the coffee. So those are all the pro tips I've got for you guys on ordering low carb and keto here at McDonald's. Now we're gonna head through the drive-through and order as many menu items as we possibly can at McDonald's in a low carb, keto friendly way. Hello, we're going to McDonald's, what are we here for today? Five hours later. Hello. Yeah, sorry about the wait. No, I'm sorry about the order. Thank you so oh, much. Okay. Something I didn't mention in my pro tip section of this video is that the mobile app at McDonald's is really great to make sure that they get your order right, especially when you're making so many substitutions to make your orders low carb and keto. It's a really helpful app and they have deals on the app sometimes so you can get some free stuff if you order via the app rather than just the drive-thru. Anyways, let's kick things off with the most popular breakfast item on McDonald's menu, and that is the McMuffin. Now, if you wanna order McMuffins keto, all you have to do is order them without the McMuffin. The first McMuffin we're gonna talk about is the sausage McMuffin. If you order that without the muffin, you're gonna end up with something like this. It's a sausage patty topped with a slice of cheese. If you order it like this, it's gonna cost $1.89, but the carb count is gonna be way lower. You're only looking at two grams of carbs if you get your McMuffin like this. The next McMuffin we're talking about is the Egg McMuffin. And if you order the Egg McMuffin, again, you wanna order it without the muffin. If you do that, you're gonna get a slice of Canadian bacon, a rounded egg, and a slice of cheese. Now, as far as the price goes on the Egg McMuffin, it's about $4, so it's quite a bit more expensive than the Sausage McMuffin that we just talked about. However, you do get a rounded egg with your protein in this McMuffin, which is kind of important because the rounded egg is the lowest carb egg option you can get at McDonald's. There's some other egg options, but we'll talk more about those options when we talk about those menu items a little later on. Oh, and as far as the carb count goes, it's three grams of net carbs for the Egg McMuffin. Then the last McMuffin we're talking about is actually probably the best deal out of all the McMuffins, and that is the Sausage Egg and Cheese McMuffin. This is $2, so you get a heck of a lot of food for $2. This is what the Sausage Egg and Cheese McMuffin looks like. Again, just order, no muffin, and you've got yourself a low carb keto option here for breakfast at McDonald's, and the entire thing is just three net carbs, just like the Egg McMuffin, which we just talked about, which was definitely not as big as this. So I think we should do a quick taste test because the carbs are the same on the Egg McMuffin and the Sausage McMuffin, but the price just way different. So here is the Sausage and Egg McMuffin. That's really good. The sausage is the best part. The sausage at McDonald's is awesome. That is so flavorful, so tasty. I'm a big fan of this. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be tough to beat this. 
Next up, we've got the Egg McMuffin, which is twice as expensive as that Sausage McMuffin is. Yeah. It's good. It's all right. Sausage is just so good at McDonald's. It's really tough to compete. I'm going sausage McMuffin all day over the egg McMuffin just because it's half the price and way more flavor. Moving on, McDonald's also has biscuits on the breakfast menu. And if you want to order a biscuit low carb in keto, all you have to do is ask for no biscuit. Now, one of the biscuits on the menu is an egg biscuit. If you order it like that, you're going to end up with something like this. This is $2.29. And I'm sure you can tell this is different than the eggs that come on McMuffins. Those are rounded eggs. This is a folded egg. I just call it a fluffy egg. And the folded egg has two grams of carbs per serving, where those rounded eggs just have one gram of carbs per serving. So having said that, this egg biscuit sandwich without the biscuit has two grams of carbs if you order it this way. Another biscuit sandwich on the breakfast menu at McDonald's is a dollar menu biscuit sandwich, and that is the sausage biscuit. If you order it this way, Without the biscuit, you're gonna end up with just a sausage patty like this. Now that said, as far as the carb count goes on these sausage patties, it's just one gram of carbs per sausage patty, which I totally dig. And by the way, guys, whether you order the sausage biscuit or you ordered the egg biscuit, they won't come with cheese. You can totally add cheese to these, but if you do, you're gonna add one gram of carbs per your order. So just keep that in mind if you wanna add a little cheese to your biscuit order. So another biscuit option that you can order at McDonald's for breakfast is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Of course, if you order it without the biscuit, you end up with a folded egg, a couple of slices of bacon, and some melted cheese like this. This is $3.99 at McDonald's. And with that said, as far as the carb count goes on our keto bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, it is three net carbs for this menu item. McDonald's also sells a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. And if you order it without the biscuit, you'll end up with something like this. It's gonna be a folded egg, of course, just like all of the biscuit options have, a sausage patty and some melted cheese on top. If you order this, it's $4.39. And as far as the carb count goes on our sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, biscuitless biscuit, it's three net carbs for this option. So we've got the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuitless biscuit, and we've got the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuitless biscuit. Give both of these a taste. Mm, literally takes me back to my childhood. I used to go to McDonald's and go for breakfast with my grandma there, and I'd order pretty much something like this. The folded egg, in my opinion, is well worth the extra gram of carbs. It's just fluffy and delicious. And then you pair that with the sausage and the cheese. Oh, it's so good, so, so good. So we're comparing that against the bacon, egg, and cheese. Tons of bacon flavor, it's smoky, it's salty. It pairs great with the cheese. The fluffy egg is amazing. I think if you're craving bacon, this is totally gonna hit the spot. For me personally, the sausage at McDonald's, I just have like this uh, nostalgia about it, I guess. And I think it's just so good. But that came really, really close to as good as the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Honestly though, I think both of these are total winners. They both are really, really delicious. And that bacon, super flavorful. I was really surprised by that. Another item on the McDonald's breakfast menu that's easy to make low carb and keto is the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle at McDonald's. All you have to do is ask for no McGriddle cakes. So you'll end up with a folded egg, a couple of strips of bacon, and some melted cheese on top. It's basically the same thing as the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. And as far as the price on this, it's the same as the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. It's $3.99 at McDonald's. And the net carb count is exactly the same too. It's three net carbs if you order a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle like this. So that was pretty much all of the breakfast menu items that you can order low carb and keto at McDonald's. The only exception being that they didn't have the sausage burrito that most McDonald's have at the one we went to. But if you want to order that low carb and keto, all you have to do is order that without the tortilla shell. If you do that, your burrito will end up being about four net carbs. And if you ask for no cheese on that burrito-less burrito, it'll end up at three net carbs. But like I said, that's pretty much every breakfast menu item that you can order at McDonald's in a low carb keto way. Now let's move on to the rest of the menu. So with practically all the burger and sandwich options at McDonald's, the big pro tip, like I said before, is ordering no bun, no ketchup. If you do that, you can pretty much make any sandwich there that's not breaded, low carb and keto friendly. The first sandwich we're gonna talk about is on the dollar menu and that is the hamburger. I ordered this no bun, no ketchup. I added some extra shredded lettuce, which can be a pro tip if you can't find a side salad at the McDonald's that you're at. 
You can always just get a ton of extra shredded lettuce with your hamburger, make kind of like a lettuce salad bowl with the hamburger. And if you order this plain with no lettuce, it'll be zero carbs with the extra shredded lettuce. You're looking at one carb. Now you could add a couple of different things to this mustard or mayo, zero carbs. If you want to top it with something, you also could use the spicy buffalo dipping sauce that only has one carb and the ranch dipping sauce, just one carb as well, like we've already talked about. Now, this is what you get from the dollar menu hamburger. I don't know if you can see this, but I can see you guys through the hamburger. So not the highest quality of meat options, but we are eating off the dollar menu at McDonald's. So maybe that's to be expected. So another McDonald's menu item you can make low carb and keto friendly, super easy, just by skipping the bun and the ketchup is the cheeseburger. If you do that, you're gonna end up with a hamburger patty like this, a little bit of cheese, some mustard, some onions, and a pickle. That said, as far as how much this costs, it's $1.49 at McDonald's, and the net carb count on this is two net carbs. Next up, you can easily make the McDouble, low carb and keto friendly at McDonald's by skipping the bun and the ketchup. If you do that, you're gonna end up with something like this. You're gonna get quite a few pickles, some shredded lettuce, a little bit of cheese, some mustard, and you'll also end up with two hamburger patties like this. The price of the McDouble is $1.89. As far as the net carbs, if you order it like this, you're looking at three net carbs. Now on the $2 menu at McDonald's, you will find the double cheeseburger. Again, making that low carbon keto is super easy. Just skip the bun and the ketchup. You'll get yourself a bowl like this filled with shredded lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a couple of hamburger patties like this. Now the difference between the double cheeseburger and the McDouble is that you get two slices of cheese with the double cheeseburger for $2. The McDouble is about 10 cents cheaper at $1.89. You only get one slice of cheese with that. Now that said, as far as the carb count on the double cheeseburger, if you order it like this, it'll be three net carbs. So on the $2 menu, McDonald's has a double cheeseburger. On the $3 menu, McDonald's has a triple cheeseburger. So for $3, you get three burger patties like this, two pieces of cheese, bunch of shredded lettuce, pickles, onions, mustard, the whole shebang. My recommendation again with this one is just adding a bunch of extra shredded lettuce to your triple cheeseburger. And that way you can just make a big time salad out of your bowl. If you do that, you'll end up with a ton of food. It'll be under $5 and the triple cheeseburger will just run you three net carbs. Another super popular menu item at McDonald's is the quarter pounder. And it's really easy to make that low carbon keto. Again, we're just skipping the bun, skipping the ketchup. We're gonna end up with a bowl of quarter pounder deliciousness like this. And this is definitely the best looking slice of beef that we've reviewed so far. It's a really nice looking burger. It's not cheap though. The quarter pounder is $5.29 at McDonald's. So this is also the most expensive thing we've talked about today. As far as the net carbs on this, if you order the McDonald's quarter pounder like this, it'll run you three net carbs. So McDonald's has the quarter pounder on the menu. They also have the double quarter pounder on the menu, which I think should just be called the half pounder just one man's opinion. But if you order a half pounder or double quarter pounder without a bun and without ketchup, you're gonna end up with a ton, a half pound of meat like this, a couple of slices of cheese, the shredded lettuce, the pickles, the onions, the mustard, all that good stuff and you're getting a lot more meat. Now you are gonna pay a premium for the double quarter pounder. It costs $6.99, so basically $7. But having said that, this whole thing has just four net carbs. So if we're talking about McDonald's, then you know we gotta talk about the Big Mac. If you wanna make the Big Mac low carb and keto friendly, just go no bun, no Big Mac sauce. If you do that, you will end up with something like this. It's $5.19 for a Big Mac at McDonald's. And my pro tip here is instead of using the Big Mac sauce, I just use some mayonnaise instead. If you order your Big Mac like this, it'll be three grams of net carbs. If you use the Big Mac sauce, your Big Mac bowl, it'll be five grams of carbs. So the Big Mac sauce adds two carbs to the total of the bowl. Also, I wanna point out that the patty quality on the Big Mac, it's definitely not as quality as the quarter pounder or double quarter pounder on the menu. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to order a low carb keto burger or just a burger in general at McDonald's, the best bet is the quarter pounder or double quarter pounder in terms of quality. 
So that's pretty much every menu item that you can order low carb and keto at McDonald's. We weren't able to order a few things right now because of everything that's going on. McDonald's isn't serving a full menu. So a few things that we couldn't order today that you might be able to order soon at McDonald's. We couldn't order the artisan grilled chicken sandwich. If you order that and you wanna make it keto, just say no bun and it'll be about two net carbs for that order. We also couldn't order the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad. McDonald's isn't doing any salads right now. If you wanna make that keto, just ask for no cheese, no tomato, no dressing because the ranch dressing is loaded with carbs at McDonald's and instead get a ranch dipping sauce or two and use that as your dressing since every dipping sauce just has one net carb. And then the last thing we couldn't order because McDonald's isn't doing any salads is a side salad, which I highly recommend ordering with any keto burger order that you're gonna do here, just because that way you can make a burger salad or a burger bowl with the side salad. And the side salad's awesome because not only is it low calorie, it's low carb too. And if you wanna make it even lower carb, just ask for no tomatoes and the side salad will be one net carb. I also want to say I did a Taco Bell video just recently and I think ordering keto and low carb at Taco Bell is way cheaper than ordering it at McDonald's just to be totally honest with you guys. So keep that in mind uh, if you're out and you're looking for some keto fast food options that Taco Bell is probably going to be cheaper than here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas on ordering low carb and keto at McDonald's. Thank you wife so much for filming. I will see you guys in the next one.